we can get the performance, we can get the accessibility. The accessibility metric seems to be according, right, to to the manual process that I have done before. Uh, the best practices metric is as well working as expected. Hello masters, welcome back to Drawing Media, welcome back to another excellent video in this channel. Today we're going to be integrating Lighthouse with Cypress. What is Lighthouse? Basically, Lighthouse allows us to get some metrics from a website. For example, if we're using Google Chrome, and using google.com as a website, we can get from the Lighthouse in the Chrome developer tools uh, this kind of metrics. For example, we can get the performance, we can get the accessibility, performance uh, or the metric or the, or the score, I'm not sure. <laughs> we can get the best practices score and also the SEO score too here, right? Uh, I want to do this automatically with Cypress and there is a, um, well, actually the performance cannot be measured correctly with Cypress. However, the accessibility metric, the best practices metric and the SEO metric is, is working pretty fine. I want to show you that uh, step by step. So please uh, stay with me until the end of the video and let me know in the comment section if you are enjoying this video too. Okay, so let's start guys. What is Lighthouse? Basically Lighthouse is an open source automated tool for improving the quality of web pages. Okay. You can run it against any web page, and uh, as I told you before, it has audits for performance, accessibility, progressive web apps, SEO, and more. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the installation of this uh, well plugin. Okay, uh, well, what is Cypress Audit? Basically, Cypress Audit is an extension that was developed by by well a kind of guy, right? I, I, let me see where is the. Uh, the the repo Cypress audit because I want to create it well the, the the guys that create this amazing extension right this one over here yeah there it is here we have the contributors and and who are using this but the main contributor here is a uh, Marvin Fra uh, Fratchet so thank you very much a uh, Marvin, <laughs> let me know in the comments if you're watching this video and, and if you have some kind of feedback, I'll, I'll, well, I'll take it and I appreciate that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's continue. In order to install Lighthouse, we have like three steps in the way. The first one is going to be installing the dependency. We have two ways. We can install it using a NPM or Jarn. I'm going to do it using NPM here. Okay, I'm going to open Visual Studio Code here because, well, um, I lost uh, the, the the power outage here and, and I lost my work, but I'm redoing it again for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to install Cypress Audit Lighthouse and, and you can see that as soon as this is installed, I'm going to be opening the package.json and you're going to notice that I have a Cypress Audit Lighthouse a dependency as dev dependency in the line 24. Year, right this is the version that i'm installing right now probably if you're installing this in the future of course it's going to be different and and a bit different when you configure the the, the plugin but uh, well it is going to be kind of the similar stuff right uh, once i have installed the dependency in my project the next step is going to go for the support folder and look for index.js in, in my case okay and and insert or actually add an import at the beginning of the file to get the commands right from the cypress audit slash lighthouse library that we just installed as a dependency right this is the first step that i'm doing here importing the commands right once i have done that the, the next step is going to well actually open the plugins folder and open the index.js file here what i have to do is basically well, the stuff that you're watching in this part of my screen. In the line 64, I'm in declaring a couple of constants that are required from the Lighthouse library that we just installed. And I'm adding a couple of on in the module experts that a, a couple of configurations in simple words that, that we need to do in order to run our commands. For example, we need to uh, perform an on before browser launch. Here we're gonna be sending the launch options and then in the task itself, I'm just declaring the command that I need to, um, well, I'm, I'm calling the command from the library, right? That's important. Um, let's, let's continue with the next step. I have configured everything right now. I just, 
I can continue with the next part of the video, which is, well, actually the test script. The, the well the most important part of this right um well as you can see basically i just have a kind of eat here i'm gonna just comment this part of my code because i want to show you the basic one at the beginning okay you can see that basically what i'm doing here is just visiting google.com the same stuff that i'm gonna be that i just did here right visit i visited google.com i generated the lighthouse report but now i'm gonna be using the command sci lighthouse which is well actually already created by by this a uh, group of, group of contributors here right and uh, well, let's let's take a look of how it works. All right, I'm gonna be running the command or the script Cypress Open, which is basically just a, a kind of alias, right, for the command Cypress Open here, right. Um, let's go ahead and take a look of this. As soon as the test runner is open, I'm just I'm gonna look for the under the integration folder where where is the folder where I have every single test that I have created in, in this channel, right? And I'm gonna look for Lighthouse, right? And then, uh, well, I'm gonna be executing the performance.spec.js file. I just wanted to, well, actually remember you that, or actually ask you to your subscription if you wanna, well, actually be aware of the latest updates in the automation world, because I'm constantly updating or actually uploading a lot of videos regarding this kind of uh, topics okay so now that i have this uh, i just wanted to mention something else probably the next week we're, we're gonna have cypress 10 in 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 the market right now i'm just i, I mean i am uh, using cypress 9 if i am not wrong i don't i, I i'm not sure if i can see the the, the version here but uh, i'm using cypress 9 we're gonna have Cypress 10 in the market. Let me know in the comment section if you wanna have a new video of that because I can create it for you guys. There are some updates that you need to know. Okay, now that, I'm, that I have the, the integration folder open, I'm gonna look for Lighthouse and I'm gonna be executing the performance.spec.js file. You're gonna notice that, um, well, every single metric that I have here, we're gonna be just calling, right, the command cypress or sci lighthouse in the script itself it is going to be expecting to have a score of 100 for every every single a uh, kind of kpi right for example it is going to expect to have 100 in accessibility <laughs> and 100 in, in seo right and you're going to see that it is going to start failing because of that you can see that the performance here is 72 and it was expect expecting something something else and the same stuff for accessibility, uh, SEO, and well, the PWA metric, the, the progressive web application metric here, All right? So I'm gonna actually customize the threshold to um, kind of expect something realistic based on the application that we're using, right? Uh, this has to be a conversation in your team if you want to apply this kind of strategy because you need to set uh, some metrics or scores according to your website and, and the thing that you're expecting there, right? Okay, it is going to start working, all right? But I want to explain you step by step what is going to happen. Uh, instead of sending or actually just using the command side lighthouse, I'm going to be sending a couple of parameters in this particular function. The first one is going to be the threshold metrics, all right? You're going to see that I'm saying that I want a performance of 45 at least. If it is upper, of course, it's going to be okay. But if it is lower, I'm going to be worried about that, okay? And the same stuff for accessibility. It is going to be a, a threshold of 75. The best practices is going to be a 80, right? And uh, we have a SEO percentage of 82, all right? That's it. And then uh, here we have another... A parameter object object parameter with some configurations for form factor a screen emulation and so on this is a configuration that i haven't touched a lot but basically we can see that we could use a screen emulation um, use a width and the height that we want to customize and, and so on but in, by default this is the documentation or actually the configuration that is recommended for us okay now that you can see a uh, 
in the test runner here that this high lighthouse test seems to be working fine. The performance record is 64, all right? Let me just tell you, let me tell you something here. Cypress can in interfere with the performance metric test that we have here. And I wouldn't use this as a, um, as a, reliab a reliable uh, test metric for us. I would trust in accessibility metric and best practices and SEO. However, for performance, we, I, I, at least in, in my opinion, it is not like a realistic metric because, um, well, since Cypress is constantly a well, intercepting the requests and, and so on, probably it can interfere with this kind of metric. And, and that's something that I wouldn't check with Cypress, right? However, the accessibility metric seems to be according, right, to, to the manual process that I have done before. Uh, the best practices metric is as well working as expected and SEO metric also is working fine. So you can see that this is how we can um, configure the threshold and this is this is working fine actually right i um, highly recommend you to come here check the official documentation I, I was just doing a kind of demo if you want to implement this tool and well let me know in the comment section right if if you want to um if you want me to do something else you can see that we have an api here we have command guidelines to to check and, and do more stuff from from the global settings and so on. So let me know, guys, um, if you like this video. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoy it, if you learn something new. And, well, see you in the next one, guys. Thank you very much, Masters. Bye-bye.